No combative sport shall be conducted, held, or given within the state of New York, and no licenses may be approved by the commission for such matches or exhibitions. Mixed martial arts, also known as MMA, got its start back in 1993. It was supposed to be a one-off event just to see which form of martial arts was best. They brought in boxers, karate experts, jiu-jitsu experts, judo experts, just to see who would come out on top in the tournament. Now, back then there were only two rules, no biting and no eye gouging. So fights, as you can tell, got pretty violent. Because of this violence, New York, as well as many other states, banned mixed martial arts. And this quote here is actually from the law for the state of New York. Now, since that time, different companies have made strides to make mixed martial arts more publicly accepted. They've introduced rule changes. They've basically become more friendly to the states and athletic commissions. With these rules, as you can see, they brought in weight classes. They brought in time limits. There's, along with the original rules, they've added a whole slew of new rules just to make it more acceptable. There's no striking to the back of the head of an opponent. Different things that just bring safety into perspective. The list continues on and on over all the new rules. Now, if you want a full list of the rules, I recommend going to www.ufc.com forward slash about forward slash rules. You can read up on all the different rules that they institute in, these, in all of their events. With the new rules, as well as the old rules, since, you have, since mixed martial arts got started back in 1993, there have only been two deaths in a sanctioned event. Now, if we compare that to some of the other popular combat sports, such as boxing, in that same time frame, there have been 73 deaths. If mixed martial arts is as unsafe as, as the state of New York says it is, then how come they allow boxing? It, the numbers just don't add up. But safety wouldn't be the only reason why New York should legalize MMA. There's definitely financial impacts. Now, the UFC hired a company called HR&A Advisors. They do financial impact reports for different events. Now, UFC hired them to do financial impact reports on the state of New York for the city of Buffalo and the city of New York City. Now, we're going to look at the city of Buffalo first. For Buffalo, they found that one UFC event, which is one night, would bring in over five million dollars to the to the local economy in Buffalo. They said that there would be about 1.7 million dollars in spending just for the local event. That's the UFC putting on advertisements, renting the arena, ticket sales. Visitor spending would be 1.4 million dollars. That's hotels, food, gasoline. They also estimated the induced activity and indirect activity. The indirect activity is activity by suppliers of goods and services as a result of direct activity. The induced activity is activity in the local economy due to spending by employees of the direct spending suppliers. Now, $5.2 million in today's economy would be great, but Let's look at New York City and see the financial impacts there. There are over $11 million for one evening. $5.3 million for the event spending. Once again, like advertisement, renting, the location for the event. Visitor spending would still be about $1.4 million. Indirect activity and induced activity for a total of $4.6 million. In today's economy, this money is gravely needed to just bring in and keep jobs. 
New York currently has a three billion dollar deficit for their budget this year. This was in an article on the Christian Science Monitor written by Amanda Paulson. With these events, they would bring in over $836,000 in tax revenue for the state of New York. That could definitely do a lot of change for their budget. Also, the UFC wouldn't be the only promotion hosting events. There would be events nearly every weekend in different parts of the state. And the state would be collecting tax revenue on all ticket sales and all income for the fighters and people working the events. The HRNA associates also found that all this money being brought in for the local areas, it would probably bring in 57 jobs for the state of, or for the city of Buffalo and 81 jobs for New York City. Now let's go back and review all the things that I've covered so far. We've covered the, the rules. Obviously the sport is not the violent sport that it was that got it banned. It's, it's ridiculous that you can compare it to boxing or you can compare it to like a sport like boxing and say that boxing is safe and mixed martial arts is not while boxing obviously has more deaths. The financial impact for the local areas is just astounding. Everybody wants jobs now. So why not do something that would bring in more jobs for the state? 